Okay, right now uh, with me from Seven Day Dental is Dr. Christine Chung and Dr. Chuck Lee. And today we are talking about prevention to get, uh, you know, periodontal disease. And, uh, you know, I, I, I said earlier when I was uh, introducing our segments that periodontal disease is probably the most common disease that almost all of us get one time or another, am I right? Yes. I mean, of all diseases, no matter what it might be, heart disease or whatever, this is probably the most common, wouldn't you say? Yes, gum disease affects 75% of the population, mm -hmm. whether, uh, and it affects more when, as you get older. Right. You know, so if th that number is very scary when you think out of four patients, three will have some type of gum disease, whether it's yeah. mild or moderate or severe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, research has found that there is a direct link between gum disease and heart disease. Mm -hmm. So that is very scary because um, the oral bacteria in your mouth, they tend to stick to the fatty plaques in mm -hmm. the bloodstream and therefore, it's very highly increased the chance of uh, blood clot oh, leading okay. to the heart disease, uh, for example, clotting, mm -hmm. and eventually um, uh, the blockage of the blood vessel will lead to stroke or other medical problem of the heart. So, it, 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 you know, to, just to stress enough, um, anything that comes from the mouth mm -hmm. will eventually spread to the body, going out to the bloodstream and out to the body. So oral disease, if there's early detection, we can prevent many, many other medical issues. And when it, so? when it comes to early prevention, this is <clears throat> something that, you know, in many cases it just, you look for ongoing from the time somebody is very young coming to, uh, to, to go to the dentist and get their teeth clean. It can happen at any time, but yes. it's really, it's fairly easy to prevent, right? Yes. Um, the number one problem is it's a silent disease. Gum mm -hmm. disease is a silent disease. You don't know you have it. Mm -hmm. You don't, a lot of people don't floss, and so they don't know. They don't see the bleeding gum. Mm -hmm. And unless it's pretty bad, you're not gonna see it. We it's, have a, oh. Do we show the signs, the, the slides? Yeah, we can go to the next slide. Yeah. yeah, this one here, right here. There we go. Yeah, so if you look at your gum, sometimes you can see some swelling there when mm -hmm. I, with the, that slide shows the circle. Yeah. The swelling of the gum, redness, um, bad breath constantly, and you can start seeing separation of the teeth is due to bone loss or attachment loss, so mm -hmm. therefore teeth start moving around. Those are the early signs and symptoms. And like Dr. Lee just said, periodontal disease is a silent disease. Mm -hmm. at, at early stage, you probably cannot detect, but if you see unusual signs and symptoms, if you can see um, a diseased gums mm -hmm. picture, compared to healthy gum, you can see the healthy gum is, uh, is very pink and firm, mm -hmm. whereas diseased gums it shows signs of redness, uh, a little bit of swelling, and therefore it, it's, just a, it's just a sign of gum disease and we would yeah. wanna urge you to go to the dentist to have um, uh, early diagnosis mm -hmm. and that's how we can prevent uh, further uh, advance of gum disease. What about uh, just, uh, you know, between the checkups and all, at home, all kinds of brands of toothbrushes. In fact, uh, now uh, there's some brands that, um, that are sent to your home on a regular basis. Uh, you know, kind of like, um, it's a subscription, so to make sure you always have a fresh toothbrush, it's sent out, and there's a few different brands that do this now. How important is that to just change out your, your toothbrush? <clears throat> and is there any kind people should be looking at, maybe not a brand name, mm -hmm. but the type of bristles that they yeah. should be using? So toothbrush, we want people to use as soft as possible because mm -hmm. you don't need to be, it should not be coarse or medium coarse because okay. it, it <clears throat> actually does more damage to your, not only your gum, but to your teeth uh, when you use that. And secondly, you have to imagine 
you don't need to brush very hard to remove plaque. Okay. okay. But what happened is, the, after the plaque or the food becomes hardened overnight, after 24 hours, mm -hmm. it becomes a sticky, thicker consistency, tartar mm -hmm. uh, or calculus buildup, you cannot remove it. Okay. And that's where patients feel like, oh, I got to go buy that coarse toothbrush because then I can get rid of yes. it. And you can't. Yeah. That you need a special instrument to remove because it's just, it's very okay. hard to remove. Okay. Second, what we, should, we always recommend is once a day you need to floss. Mm -hmm. And you should floss your back teeth as well because that's where, that's where the problem is. Yeah, which are the, the hardest ones to floss, yeah. obviously. So we yeah. recommend a lot of times patients to buy the floss helper. Okay. You can get that at the grocery store. Um, some people use water pick, which mm -hmm. is always good yeah. because what water pick does is just shoots down there and it disrupts the plaque buildup. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, I, in fact, I was, I was going to ask you about that because <clears throat> I remember years ago in the 70s and 80s, water pick first came out and, you know, the name brand, I mean, there's probably different brands, and it was huge. Everyone seemed to have them. Now you just don't hear about them. They don't advertise anymore, and I didn't even know they were still on the market. Yes. Yeah, so, but the most important thing we have to get out of this, even if you were to brush, floss, water pick, whatever you do, you're not going to be able to remove everything. Mm -hmm. okay. You're going to remove maybe 99 or, ni let's say you remove 99% of the buildup, but there's that, still that 1% that is built over days okay. and years that we cannot remove. And that's why it's important to go to the dentist. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. So when, when someone does have a periodontal disease, obviously there's different stages. And hopefully they're coming often enough you can catch it right at, at the start. And that's the key, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So gum disease start with early, um, moderate, and advanced. Mm -hmm. And there are two kinds of gum disease. One is everybody knows what gingivitis is. Sure. Gingivitis it is just an inflammation of your gum. Mm -hmm. It's still reversible because you don't have bone loss. Okay. That's a very early stage of gum disease, which I think 95% okay. um, of the patient will fall into that category because only 5% would have perfect healthy gum. Because okay. in your mouth, yeah. it takes only 24 hours for the plaque to build up. Yeah. And so we, they would consider that's just chin divided, it's just the inflammation of the gum. But chin divided can go into periodontal okay. disease where it's more serious mm -hmm. because now you start breaking down of the uh, ligament, the periodontal ligament, which is the attachment that attached to, to bone. And then you start breaking down bone, you lose bone. The more advanced disease um, will lose more bone and then the end result would be losing your tooth. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So um, again, early detection. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't matter what kind of brand uh, of the toothpaste you use, but how often you use it and the technique, you know, circular motion. Mm -hmm. Use a small, like he said, soft toothbrush that you can reach all the way in the back. Even I myself as a dentist, I have to have my teeth clean every three or four months or six mm -hmm. months because myself will miss a few sure, areas, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then it'll, it'll, it will allow plaque to build up and then eventually tartar build up, which you cannot just brush it off with a regular toothbrush. Mm -hmm. So um, going to the dentist regularly for checkup to have a hygienist, hygienist or a dentist clean your teeth is just recommended. Yeah, yeah. good idea. And uh, <clears throat> uh, I, um, I like the idea of what uh, you, you, you know, you, you're talking about just home maintenance, how important it is, and you don't need that people think they need that really firm toothbrush and mm -hmm. probably shouldn't even sell those kind of things. Huh? So, <laughs> and then the treatment, yeah. we were talking about yeah, the treatment, yeah, if you yeah. do have gum disease. Well, early, so gingivitis, <clears throat> we usually just do maybe one or two sessions of mm -hmm. your regular cleaning because yeah. it's not, doesn't involve bone loss and it's just inflammation of the gum, but if patient has uh, bone loss, like early or moderate periodontitis, mm -hmm. then we will recommend deep cleaning. Mm -hmm. And once we recommend deep clean, we want to get the patient back more often, maybe three months, and monitor them closely mm -hmm. 
because we're finding that after 90 days you do get plaque buildup. Mm -hmm. And you have to remember patients that have gum disease, moderate or early or moderate or severe, they have deeper pockets. So when food, when you eat, food is traveling down under your pocket. So it's okay. hard for you to access and clean it. Yeah. And so if it's much more advanced than that, then we may have to refer you to a periodontist where they mm -hmm. can do more surgical phase okay. of treatment to get rid of the disease. All right, very good. Thank you very much for coming by today. And their Laguna Woods office is uh, right over off Malton at the is it Oak, um, Oak Tree Center? Yeah. It's Willow. Oh, Willow. Willow. I always forget Willow Tree. Willow Tree. Willow tree. There's a I new Aldi there. there. <laughs> That's Aldi right. Just I knew it was a tree. Dollar Tree opens. Yes. And so, I know they're yeah. redoing that whole to, center there, yeah, yeah, which is right good. Yeah, we're just right next to them. Uh, their local number's on the screen, 949-859-3988. Give them a call and uh, take care of your teeth, right? All right, we'll be, we'll be right back. Thank you.